My Dear Hamilton, a novel of Eliza Schuyler Hamilton. Not since I read Eric Larson's Dead Wake have I had such an edge of my seat immersion into historical events. No study of Alexander Hamilton would be complete without reading this book. Karen White New York Times best-selling author. From the New York Times best-selling authors of America's First Daughter comes the epic story of Eliza Schuyler Hamilton, a revolutionary woman who, like her new nation, struggled to define herself in the wake of war, betrayal, and tragedy. In this haunting, moving, and beautifully written novel, Dre and Kamwa used thousands of letters and original sources to tell Eliza's story as it's never been told before, not just as the wronged wife at the center of a political sex scandal, but also as a founding mother who shaped an American legacy in her own right. A general's daughter, coming of age on the perilous frontier of revolutionary New York, Elizabeth Schuyler champions the fight for independence. And when she meets Alexander Hamilton, Washington's penniless but passionate aide-de-camp, she's captivated by the young officer's charisma and brilliance. They fall in love, despite Hamilton's bastard birth and the uncertainties of war. A founding father's wife, but the union they create, in their marriage and the new nation, is far from perfect. From glittering inaugural balls to bloody street riots, the Hamiltons are at the center of it all, including the political treachery of America's first sex scandal, which forces Eliza to struggle through heartbreak and betrayal to find forgiveness. The last surviving light of the revolution, when a duel destroys Eliza's hard-won peace, the grieving widow fights her husband's enemies to preserve Alexander's legacy. But long-buried secrets threaten everything Eliza believes about her marriage and her own legacy. Questioning her tireless devotion to the man and country that have broken her heart, she's left with one last battle, too.